It's a season three episode. Season aired him back in 2003. Man, 2003 was a wild time. Dude. That was when dude, I was born. I was one year old, bro. I barely dude, existed. Same, man. Same. Barely existed. <laughs> I was barely born, man. Yeah, they, oh, they um, Mr. Krabs goes through midlife crisis and he tags along with SpongeBob and Patrick to feel young again. And they, and like, he's like, oh, you guys, you guys aren't doing the fun stuff that young people do. And he's like, let's go on a panty raid. So that's what they decide to do as quote unquote young people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Beautiful. what I'm like. It's such a wild episode to think of. But yeah. I, I'm sorry. No, no, no! You're, you're all good. Chat. That that'll be a god tier intro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, regardless, all right. Welcome back, everybody, to Late Night Lounge. Um, I am Lucas here, as always, with one of the two boys, Matt here. Uh, <laughs> Tommy Hello, decided to not show up today, so instead we replaced Being him. Being social, <laughs> we replaced him with a new guest. Uh, Ernie, say hi. Hello, I'm Ernie. Like from so Sesame you guys- Street. From yes, yeah, specifically from Sesame Street. So, uh, if I left that first part in the episode, you heard Ernie talk about SpongeBob for about a minute there. Um, it was quite <laughs> it's funny. Just, like I love the show growing up, and I I love this episode specifically, and I just find it hilarious that it got taken off the air because people felt like it was inappropriate, which I mean, it was. It, I'm not it, saying it is appropriate. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying like, oh, hey, you know, 10-year-old kids should go fucking, should should go run into like uh, their parents' bedroom, steal the panties and wear it on their heads. I kid you not, they do that in the episode. I, I sound yeah. insane. No, it, it, I understand why it got taken off, though. I feel like there's a lot of episodes that got removed. like Especially nowadays. Like, I feel like I keep hearing of like random tidbits of like children's shows that got a little bit too comfortable with some adult themes and that just got like slapped out of existence. Right? So I don't know. <laughs> Regardless though, um, Ernie, do you want to uh, real quick mm-hmm. while we're uh, while we're getting started here, let everyone uh, or introduce yourself a little bit, let everyone know who you are. I don't, I don't... I don't know what you mean by that, but I don't know. I'm Ernie. Um, I'm I'm turning twenty in a week. I like what like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm Ernie. I'm I, I live in. I moved. I used to live in California. I moved to West Virginia a year and a half ago now. Almost mm. two years <laughs> coming up on that. Um, besides that, I'm studying to be a high school math teacher. Hopefully, just teaching math. Mm-hmm. That's that's about it i work at staples i used to work at best buy i don't know what else i can say you're kind of putting me on the spot that's the (laughs) that's the point i like everyone to feel a little bit awkward but regardless we uh we're obviously we're good friends with ernie met back in well i don't know about that (laughs) all right listen i can uh, we don't have to do that (laughs) not on the air i don't 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 need there to be controversy (laughs) like four minutes into the episode you're killing me here (laughs) regardless though yeah so that's on joe rogan dude Oh my god, right? This is just Joe Rogan podcast, but without the weed. Uh, <laughs> and Joe Rogan. I mean, yes, uh, California, that... you can easily get it. <laughs> I mean, true. However, <laughs> we're not going to do that. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Um, regardless, though. Uh, so, I, I will... I, I feel like I, I want to go back to the freaking Spongebob thing, because now I keep thinking about, like, kids' shows... That get stuff removed. I feel like there's a lot of them now that I can't think of. Do you guys have any other like examples? Of that? I feel like it's just SpongeBob that I can think of that I'm not, got like, like a couple like episodes think, on that on that type of topic. I'm not thinking of like anything that got removed. But I, I'm trying to hold up, Matt. If you want, if you have anything that comes up to mind, while well, I look for this, it's from a Disney movie. So just give me a bit. Oh, oh Disney. Oh, oh I, I know. I, I know which one you're talking about. Yes, yes, yes. I, I think we all know where this is going. Is it? Uh, does it happen by chance, Ernie, to be a certain Disney movie's promotional cover art? No, no, it's Home on the Range. Oh, it's not the one I was thinking of. Okay, what? now I'm intrigued. So Home on the Range, Matt, did you have anything that came to mind? Uh, I'm not thinking not, too hard not about it. Not okay. particularly? Brain, brain. <laughs> Then, no then here, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. So oh, just, Home oh, on the Range, just... you guys ever watch it? You ever heard of it? I think so, yeah, back in the day. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. so as a quick refresher, came back came out in 2004, so none of us watched it when it came out, obviously. 
Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I, to- I just looked it up, though. I totally recognize the characters. Yes, yeah. you, you look it up and you recognize the characters immediately. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's, it's a Disney movie about a bunch of, like, Texas cows. Not cowgirls, but cows um, being taken away. <laughs> Why is that? Did, did you have to clarify that? <laughs> yes, I, had to clar- to I had to clarify. Of course I had to clarify. So um, they're all being, like, kidnapped. Like her, their herd is being kidnapped from their dairy farm, and it's their job to stop the outlaw who's taking them, right? Okay. Um, I have you like if you ever watch the movie, the movie's like honestly really funny. I love the chemistry between all the cows. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think <laughs> I like, honestly, why do I feel like I want to rewatch this now? <laughs> I, I honestly do say like it's it's a good rewatch because if you go on YouTube, there's there's one like. Uh, musical number that just on on god dude Slaps. someone had to have taken acid to make oh <laughs> really someone had to have taken acid Come i don't on, know man i feel like there's a lot of that stuff with some animated movies no like, no no so, so many like, ideas it's it's oh my god yodel it's yodel idol 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 oh yeah, yeah there you go here, I'm, I'm a a stroke? What? Is that a no, song no, no. title? It's, that's, <laughs> it's, that's, oh my god, it is. It's literally Yodel, Adel, Edel, Idol, Idol, O. Or O, In yeah. 4K, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 4, 4K lyric video. So if you, if you watch this if you watch this uh, this video, it like it starts out as like, oh, he's supposed to be set up as like, he's going to go into this evil musical number. It's kind of like uh, in Princess and the Frog, how he starts out like... Uh, uh-huh. jovial and such where he's like oh yeah I'm messing around but he goes into this super dark thing where he's like oh you're gonna I'm gonna like chop off your dick or something like that but no he, he just <laughs> on I swear when he busts out that guitar it's either that actor is a fantastic yodeler or Disney's really good at editing the audio because he just goes straight into the lyrics, no hesitation. Really? Yes. I is. feel like I need to. Wa- I, I gotta watch that later now. Yeah, no, I, I definitely recommend like just just the, the that video I sent. Mm. It is. I highly recommend it. It is fantastic. Ernie, but what's yeah, your? No, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. You're you're gonna say something. I no, just... I was gonna I was gonna ask a, a, an off top or not off topic question, but a different question. Um, yeah, no, what, go for it. What is your favorite Disney movie now that we're on that Ooh. subject? Ooh, favorite Disney movie? Okay. Yeah. Can, I, how Matt, technical, as well how technical can I get? How technical how what? can I get? Wait, Marvel, Star Wars, does that count or just the animated Disney movie? Um, Let's stick with the animated stuff for now. Just the animated stuff? All right. I need yeah, to- sure, yeah. Because I, I, I feel like a lot, I feel like there would be a significant more Star Wars if we went with live action stuff. Because uh, no, 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 if you if you include live action, I was gonna say um, Pirates of the Caribbean, the third movie. Okay, that's fair. That that has to be one of my favorite Disney movies. The way like it's. the setup, the setup of the Pirates trilogy, like the original Pirates mm. trilogy, it's fantastic. And like, I, it makes me kind of sad, but also glad that they never made a sixth movie um, involving Jack Sparrow because of you know the whole Amber Heard situation yeah. that's still going that's on. I- oh my ironic God. timing for us to be yeah, talking no, it's, about it's, right yeah. now. Really good timing, yeah. But um, Do you no, think the, he's gonna win? The, I it's it's not like who's gonna. It's kind of an open and shut case. It's because it's not a it's not like a domestic abuse. Hold up, on a real quick tangent. Okay, it's not a domestic abuse case. How a lot of people are painting it. It's a defamation case. Mm-hmm. Johnny Depp is saying his his career as an actor was completely ruined as a result of Amber Heard, and that he can no longer get work because of her, mm-hmm. which is one hundred percent true. And everything everything else else that's going on is kind of the court of public opinion, and they're just digging up as much dirt as they can about both sides. Yeah, I that's feel like why. It- Sorry. Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. No, I was just going to say, I feel like they've kind of resorted to just flinging dirt at each other at this point. I, I haven't been keeping up with it too much, but. Oh, no, it's understandable I don't, if you haven't. I don't usually try to do research or do anything with this kind of stuff. I just kind of stay yeah. away. Celebrity stuff is usually not my thing. Yeah, this is one of those things where it's like, I, I genuinely think that Johnny Depp is a really good actor. So I want oh, yeah. to follow it. I love mm, I know no, like sure. how it's going. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Even Not even just that. Like I loved his depiction of Willy Wonka 
in uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. What? Which a lot of people. Yeah, I, I, I'm not kidding. Wait, what? That was him. Wait, hold- yeah, that was him. Yeah, look this up. I'm not even Whoa. kidding. He was Willy Wonka. Which, which version of it? Uh, the, the the like 2000, 2005. I, I can't remember. It's not the the the, the classic. Oh one. my god! Yes, it he, was. He it was, was that really weird yeah. one though. So yeah, it's 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 actually it's not weird. It's it's more true to the book. I'm I not guess even so. kidding. It's just it always it always seems weirder to me because when I think of Willy Wonka, I think of like the yeah, you think of the one. Golden Age movie, right? Yeah, but um, who directed that? I can't remember. Um, I can probably find it out. Director? Oh, it was Tim Burton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why. So Tim Burton was a huge fan. That's of so weird. Charlie, Char- Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That he wanted to keep as much CG out of the movie as he could. So you know that. Okay. So so you know this in the in the book and in the book and both movies. There's mm-hmm. a scene where they have like, or I don't know if it's actually in the in the the first movie, but in the second movie, um, they have a scene depicting like squirrels, right? It's the whole like, oh, she's a bad nut, right? That oh joke? yeah yeah yeah. That squirrel was real. Really? That was a trained squirrel. They got trained animals. For yeah, that? they trained. Yeah, they trained squirrels to I like choose nuts and everything. And it was, I I love that movie. It's it's, I I think it looks kind of weird because it went they went for like a more steampunky vibe with uh-huh. it. Um, but I love how like the house of Charlie Charlie's family's house looks like warped like it did in the book. I love how like the inside of the factory is super bright and vibrant compared to the outside. It's I, uh, it's one of those movies where it's just I love how it's done. You're and, gonna make me want to go back and rewatch a bunch of movies. Dude, now. That, no, that's what I've been doing. So like I, um, because you guys are like all in college, school, and such. Mm-hmm. I just and I've haven't been getting a lot of work at Best Buy. Um, I've just been watching like old classic, not like old movies. But by the but way, like, like reality check, yeah. re- reality check. These are like t- almost twenty years old. Stop, dude. That's how old I am. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. But I've been rewatching these movies and I love them. It's just like seeing how how like quickly Johnny Depp can change characters between like uh, like change um, behavior as uh, Willy Wonka. It's fantastic. Damn. All right, that that's wild though. I never realized that's yeah. That was him. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's why I think he's a fantastic actor because you can't even think that it's him. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just such a wildly different character because you think of like Johnny Depp and it's like, oh, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean. But yeah, no, he or plays or you so know, like for stuff. for more modern people or like for younger people, um, you think of him as what's his face from the Harry the new Harry Potter movies? Oh, um. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Can't remember the name. I can probably I know, find I it real it. quick, though. I, oh, shoot. Gr- uh, Grindelwald or something like that? Is that who it is? I, th- um, I don't know. I'm guessing. I th- didn't he play someone yeah. in the older Harry Potter movies, too? <laughs> no, he, no, he like didn't. A, uh, no? I don't believe he was in the earlier. Oh, who? Um, what, what was his name? Was it um, uh, Sirius Black? Oh, that's the guy I was thinking of, but that's not him. No, that that's that was not. very much not him. Though he doesn't have the same facial structure. Yeah, I know. I was just I, that's who I thought it was, but no. Yeah, he uh, played Grindelwald. Yeah, that was oh, I got Rickman. that first. Okay, time. okay. Yeah, no, I, I recommend rewatching um that uh, Tim Burton's uh, Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Super good. Also, like the original, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie. Um, it's also good. Um. Mm-hmm. The only thing that like I kind of hated about the first one is the way the grandpa is depicted, because like in the book the grandpa like he he is he's um he is active he's just not as active as he used to be so that's mm-hmm. why he goes with um Charlie because like in Tim Burton's movie where he does keep true to the book as much as he can both the mother and the father work um, mm-hmm. Charlie still has a father figure. So the grandpa goes out with him out of necessity, not like, oh, I want to get in on that ticket, like he mm-hmm. does in the first movie. I just a massive like tangent. Um, no, it's no worries. But, that's what this. Listen, that's we, what this show is built on. We, Dude, yeah, we but, we literally have an entire episode called Random Ramblings. We're chill with it. <laughs> but 
I I, th- I I personally think that like the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, like if the question was, what's your favorite like set of like Disney movies? I would mm-hmm. say hands down, I will take the three like Pirates of the Caribbean movies, the first three. Interesting. The way that it introduces Jack Sparrow's character and sets up Elizabeth and William and their dynamic is fantastic. And how they develop that dynamic further in the second movie, where in the first movie they leave it off as Jack Sparrow's this wild, this like wild cannon, this this loose cannon, and Mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth and William are like meant to be together, right? Whilst in the second movie, um, William gets lost in this chase to free his father from the curse of the Flying Dutchman, and Elizabeth is needs to like either save him help him or abandon him and jack sparrow is just like screwing with both of them like making them not understand what he's doing i just love it because you're gonna be like a film critic over here no i just <laughs> i just i look man there's a reason i was debating no, no, no. like if i want to be saying an English- it, i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm just saying like bro you gotta like start a youtube channel or something <laughs> no it's, it's these aren't just observations like i've made like some people yeah some people have said this i just think mm-hmm. that it's not as appreciated because people are like oh if you include disney in any productions they've made they've technically made then why not include star wars mm, it's like mm-hmm. well star wars is hot take here star wars is just kind of a glorified like space cowboy movie no that's absolutely what it is like come on it's it's not like it's terribly like it's not that it's it's not imaginative it's just not groundbreaking enough in my opinion Mm -hmm. which is gonna get me some flag from people yeah i was about to say i'm gonna get myself killed by saying this but it's uh it's good but it's definitely not one of my favorites yeah, like the original, the original trilogy. I I remember watching. I don't know if you guys know Adam, um, Adam from Orchestra. No. Oh, um, yes, I do. Yeah. So I watched the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy, or the prequel trilogy. Sorry, mm, with, with him? him overnight, um, in a sleepover. And honestly, that must have been fun. Uh, I enjoyed it when we watched like the extended versions of the Lord of the Rings more. Mm. Because well, I I will say I am biased. I am a huge D and D fan, so. <laughs> hey, fair enough. No, I've actually never sat down to watch the extended versions of any of the Lord of the Rings films. They're fantastic. Um, they add I, scenes that make the other scenes make more sense. Yeah, I probably should, but it's just oh, it's such a time. Thirteen sink. hours, dude. Thirteen yeah. hours. Honestly, what I could probably do is since I already like listen to a bunch of like music or watch or like listen to videos while I'm like commuting to and from like work and school, I should just have like those play. Cause I can, uh, I can prop up like uh, a, a phone or something. Although I technically shouldn't be doing that while driving, but <laughs> yeah, all well, that's the phone, phone holders can just, just turn enough to the, uh, to an angle. So you can just watch a video. Yeah, exactly. Where's no, that's nice. I honestly use it most of the time just to like put YouTube videos on, but then I really don't mm-hmm. watch them. I just kind of listen to them um it, it works though keeps and me yeah, entertained no, while i'm stuck in traffic for 20 minutes but ba- back to the pirates of the caribbean yeah so the first movie sets up it sets up jack and it sets up the uh, sets up jack and william and elizabeth's relationship i i love it because it also establishes that like their world isn't normal jack literally has a compass that points to whatever he wants the most like the mm-hmm. last thing we see his compass point to i think in like either the third movie or the first movie it points to a bottle of rum and then what he wants after he grabs the bottle of rum it's hilarious um the second movie just like builds on things further and introduces davy jones and the idea that bootstrap bill is on davy jones ship right which Mm. like jack introduced it back in the first movie so it's building furthermore it's all on, connected yeah it's, it connects things really well and assumes that people have watched the first movie because of its popularity and even mm. if you didn't watch it you don't really need to understand besides the fact that they say he uh bootstrap bill is the father of will like half like 50 times of the movie and it didn't mean to rhyme i was about to say that yeah. was like one of the main points of the movie <laughs> yeah but and then and then the third movie the uh, at this end of the second movie they get their hands on 
in the first movie, I'm I skipped over something. They introduced Commodore, whatever his name was. I don't even remember, oh, dude. I watched these movies like two, three weeks ago. Uh, hold on. I'm I'm looking this up. They introduced the Commodore, who we find out in the second movie actually uh, becomes disgraced because jo- uh, because Jack Sparrow escaped. Him. Is it is it the is it Norrington? Yes, com- uh, Commodore Norrington. He okay. gets he's anointed as a Commodore in the first movie. That's kind of like the whole oh Elizabeth needs to run from him. Um. And then in the second movie, we find out he's a disgraced. Uh, he he's basically treated as like kicked out, which is really mm-hmm. common because like a lot of privateers were, privateers kept on getting kicked out a lot. And in the third movie, in the second at the end of the second movie, he ta- he steals the heart, the chest, and he gives it to I forget his name. I think he's like the main like general of the British Armada. Uh, Beckett. Um, Beckett, it? yes. Thank oh my you, God! Matt. You guys are impressive for remembering these names. Um, <laughs> oh no, I have it pulled up on Google just to, just oh in God. case that we keep going <laughs> back and forth. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Dude, so, I, got, I got you, Ernie. I got, I got you. you. We're covered. <laughs> We're you covered. Understand? So he gives it to Beckett, and Beckett reinstills him as a commodore again. Gives him his own fleet to command, and it's fantastic. And it all like culminates in the final like fight scene, essentially, where um the pirate the pirates uh like the pirate alliance that's what it is the pirate alliance which is like you know the chinese pirates which quick quick side note um china actually like censored that part of the movie out they straight up did not allow the depiction of chinese pirates which is hilarious because chinese um one of the earliest like one of the most famous chinese pirates in history was a woman who commanded her own fleet larger than the chinese which you can look up and fact check me on it's okay yeah she she's like genuinely inspirational because she treated women as equally as she treated men huh. and it's oh. yeah it's 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 one of those things where it's like you didn't know you don't know about it until well someone happened to tell you i swear i will win jeopardy if i ever get on it um, you got to like, like what, you gotta what like, was the uh, time period of this? I, I think I want to say like 1600 might have been 1300 though. I can't do you know, s- do you know the name? No, I do not know the name. It's, it's, uh, it's, you can, you can probably find her by typing up a little famous female Chinese pirate. Ching Chi during the Qing dynasty, Qing dynasty, Q I N G. Yeah. Qing. During the 18th, uh, 1800s, yeah. She okay. was a former prostitute from a floating brothel, which is cool because it's maritime laws. Uh, well, if it's illegal on land, it's not illegal on the ocean. Uh, logic. Mm-hmm. Um, who ended up like owning a entire fleet, 80,000 uh, uh, members strong. Yeah. Jesus. That's... So, and th- and yeah. that's who it was based on? Oh no! It wasn't based on that. Um, it's I, I, I'm, I'm just mentioning that because it's a cool bit of Chinese history not pe- oh, okay. a lot of people know about. Um, but China actually doesn't like talking about, like even suggesting um, the Chinese were ever pirates, uh, which is a shame oh. because they're they're actually the sickest pirates. Um, <laughs> Why would you deny it? You were so cool. <laughs> yeah, dude, oh my god! Like it's like they literally have an ocean named after the Chinese Sea. Like uh-huh. what? Uh, whatever. But yeah, that's so the third the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie. They censored the part of the movie, which is by the way the first like fifteen to thirty minutes of the movie. Uh-huh. They censored it because they didn't want to depict like Chinese people as being pirates. At any time in history, okay. even though they were literally the most badass and the most fair, but besides the point. And then, like the way all their characters go from like being just like regular people to like attaining almost like legend, uh, legend names. So, like Jack Sparrow is Captain Jack Sparrow, right? We find out in the second trilogy, the second pair of movies, um, why he's so famous. But in the first three, we see. William and Elizabeth go from just like the daughter of a like a random noble and William's literally just a blacksmith 
to William becomes the captain of the Flying Dutchman. And Elizabeth becomes the pirate king and gives it up to be married to the uh, to the captain of the Flying Dutchman. Okay. And it's, oh, dude. I, I just think it's one of the best, like, movies ever made, which is kind of saying something. That's a hot topic right um, there. That but is. if there's if there's one scene that you you should watch when you like understand the way all the characters connect to each other, like how Barbosa um, and Jack's relationship connects to each other, how Norrington hates William's uh, connection to Elizabeth, but is willing to do anything for Elizabeth, things that type of stuff I love to death. And the like second or third to final scene of the movie, of the third movie. Is so good because it's literally that of uh, the two ships stuck in a whirlpool caused by I think the Kraken. If I remember correctly, no, 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 it wasn't the Kraken. It was uh, a goddess. I can't remember. Calypso. Who it, was. it was Calypso. There you go. Yeah, it was a whirlpool ca- caused by Calypso to try to kill Davy Jones, who trapped who trapped her in a human body with the Pirate Alliance. So they're in a, stuck in a whirlpool going almost like 90 degrees, like parallel to the ground, fighting whilst it turns out Barbosa is an, an anointed priest or is allowed to marry people. So he's marrying William and Elizabeth together during this massive fight as Jack is funny. being chased around by Davy Jones. It's, it's one of the wildest like sequences. It's so good. It's so good. Um, and then like the final scene too, where like spoiler alert, by the way, for a movie that's been out for like almost 10 years now, um, the final scene involves like it turning out the Davy, uh, the Davy Jones has been sinked. The flying Dutchman has been sunk uh-huh. and Williams now at the helm, right? He's the captain. He's taken the place of Davy Jones. Right. And so they, so the Black Pearl leading up to this is going straight towards, I forget the name of that ship uh, that command, a Commodore Norrington had at the end of the third movie. Um, but the Black Pearl's going towards it, and there's no way they'll win. It's a man of war, and they're on a, uh, they're on a galleon. It's close, close curtains for them. Then out of nowhere, the Flying Dutchman, a galleon, uh, not a galleon, a man of war, comes out of the water. Um, with William at its helm. And it's this beautifully done sequence of Norrington just walking down the stairs as his crew just panics. Oh, and yeah. The stair- I, I, yeah, I remember you probably, that scene. He hasn't probably yeah, yeah. seen that. Because I've seen like a couple memes made up about it. But uh-huh. it's just the stairs are exploding behind him. Bodies are flying. And the last thing he does is stare into the camera wistfully as he explodes. And it's such a good ending to his character. That, that is such a good scene, actually. I remember that one. It is a beautiful sequence. I just realized I spent the last, like, what, 15 minutes just Bro, talking about you Pir- are Pirates. good. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really like Pirates of the Caribbean. You really like Pirates in general, bro. Yeah, yeah. Makes It makes sense why I have an Android phone then. It's <laughs> mm. <laughs> an interesting coincidence as um, as I pick up my <laughs> dude. Yeah, wait. Do you have like hold up? Do you have the note? Uh, no, or do I don't. You, have you upgraded to the S twenty two? I I don't know. Cause okay, on weirdest jump of logic, but the S twenty two Ultra is such a fucking it's such a scam. I have to be honest, it's such a scam. Is it? Why is that? So okay, so the S twenty two Ultra, um. The it, it comes in technically f- uh, f- like four or five variants going mm-hmm. from 128 gigabytes, 256, 512, yeah. and a terabyte. Four four variants, right? Um, but there's actually two um, two technical models. So the yeah, there, there's two, two different f- versions of it with uh, different amounts of RAM, right? Yeah, which is a scam. Because yeah. the S twenty one Ultra had as much had no matter what storage you had got had the exact same amount of RAM as the higher like amount of RAM as the S twenty two Ultra, and it's so stupid. Yeah, I remember people were upset about that. Personally, I didn't upgrade to that one, um, so doesn't bother me too much. Um, but yeah, no. I remember that one because the twenty one Ultra was killer. This guy no, is it's, a it's little fantastic. weird. I have it. It's, I love it's it. a note though. 
Yeah. Anyway, but- sorry, sorry, Matt. We we <laughs> we're we're deviating on tech talk. Nah, it's fine. Like honestly, I think this is the lo- this is the longest time I've stayed quiet in an episode. Like, <laughs> I was gonna say, I've Ernie like- Ernie's been going ham, talk going on his mu- movie reviews. Then now it's going on to Androids, and I'm just sitting here with uh, uh, the, the sole iPhone. And well, which, which the entire that? group. Actually, I mean, actually, that? technically, you're not. Except, I, I don't have it on me right now. <laughs> don't try to make me feel no, better. I will, I, will, I will say, like from my experience Wait, working at Best Buy, like iPhones genuinely, like if you don't care about like extra features, like oh my god, you can do this on the on the Samsung. Oh, you can do this. The iPhones are so user friendly. Oh, 100%. Yeah. If they, you are like, just using it for a day to day device. No, and it's like, doesn't, even doesn't even matter. then, it's like, oh, you know, like, oh, I have a bunch of, I have like a tablet from, from like Amazon. I have like a laptop from Lenovo. Oh, but I wish I could do this with my phone. I wish I could do that with my, my laptop, things like that. Just, just buy Apple products. You take good care of that. Like, like, I hate Apple. Don't get me wrong, but you take good care of it. You're set, dude. No, I, I've heard of, I've heard stories of like like people having like almost original MacBooks for like 15 20 years. Dude, I have I mean I'm we're not using it anymore, but I have a 2013 MacBook Pro sitting in a junk drawer right now that still works. Yeah, and there's like no issue. Like it's it's really well, well made. I, I can't say no issues because the reason we replaced it is cuz one of the speakers blew out. But but everything else works. <laughs> All right, that's what you get for playing like hard bass, you know. Like, hey, come on, it man. wasn't me actually, not my computer. So, <laughs> I've, got, yeah, I've no, got my, I've got my Windows computers. I'm, I, I'm I, I genuinely think like if you don't care about like technology, which is kind of like damn, kind of mean to say. damn. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> calling you out here. I'm not calling you out here. But I'm saying like in general, if you don't really care about like you know, oh, I I need to like change the oil on my on my Samsung, dude. Yeah, like if, I need to change not, the brakes. Yeah, if you're not like super enthusiast about anything, like it it really doesn't matter. I mean, and I could say actually the opposite too. Like if you really don't care that much, like you could probably pick up an iPhone or like a decent Android phone, like a Pixel or a Samsung. And you'll be fine. Like yeah, because because Samsung is actually really pushing their like oh we're the Apple of Android devices. Pretty much, yeah, they, they've been that way for a while now. Um, I know, Pic, like Google's trying to butt in with their Pixels. They can't. Um, they can't beat on that like no, on they, the corner they, of the market that they have. They here. really can't. I mean, they did a lot better with the uh, what was it? The Pixel Six that just came out. I heard was pretty good. Yeah, the Pixel Six. I had a coworker buy one, uh-huh. and he loves it. Great, like yeah. the zoom on that phone is ridiculous. Oh, and on the twenty, the ultras from Samsung. Yeah, 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 no, the S, the S, the S ultras have really good cameras. They're just also really expensive. It's, oh my god, I'm lucky that I got mine during the holiday season. So I, I traded in my old phone and got like I'm buying if I'm paying like fifteen a month for it, but it's still That's like awesome. Jesus. No, it works though. Yeah, mm-hmm. fun stuff though, man. Yeah, I, I, I have the the nice opportunity to be able to use both. So I've actually been doing that a lot recently, Ernie, of like comparing the two, which I normally don't care about that much. But it, it's been fun to use both operating systems and just be like, wow, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it's it's at this point, it's just like personal preference of do you like the feel of this or do you like the feel of that? It's like it's like refrigerators, dude. Like, I can't really tell you, like, hey, you know, do I love this one better because, like, I love refrigerators. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you this one's better than this one because of some, like, oh, this thing does three gigafarts at 12 mega, <laughs> uh, mega pins. Like, I don't – it's, it's yeah. kind of – to, like, gauge them – and besides, like, hey, use this. Which, actually, I've gotten a lot of total texts. And he, if, if you're a sales associate, um, your, your, your store's going to hate you for the shrink, but your manager's going to love you for the – what's it called? For, for the, the, the efficiency, numbers. For the efficiency. Push the idea of if, they, if they're getting an unlocked phone and they already have an iPhone, you can use the unlocked phone and then return it if you don't like it. Because as a Tech member, you can try it out for two months. 
And I'm and pretty sure it waives it. the restocking fee, too. Yep. You don't have to pay the restocking fee. That's so stupid. That's so broken. I had, I, no, I had a customer say, like, oh, we're going on a trip um, out to Europe. Uh, what, huh. Do you have any camcorders you recommend? I was like, how long are you going to be gone? They're like, we're going to be gone for a month and a half. I was like, buy the – get Total Tech. Just buy this camcorder buy this that's like – and then like, just re- – No, oh, buy yeah. this camcorder. This camcorder. It was like like $6,000. I was like, yeah, and then just return it. You don't have to pay the fifteen uh, percent restocking fee. That's awesome. And I like, never thought about that, but yeah, it's it's literally farming the system, dude. It's it's cheating. It's literally just cheating. The way that that membership works is funky. Uh, for anyone listening, if you uh, go to a if you have a Best Buy near you, that's that's what we're talking about. Because Ernie yes. used to work there. I currently do still work there. Uh, different locations, obviously. Ernie's at Staples now, a, like halfway across the country. Yeah, I live in, um, I live in West Virginia. Actually, not even halfway, Virginia. literally across California. the country. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm I'm all, I'm really close to being the Northeast, but not yeah. quite. Not quite. But no, like I, I I love the time that I spent at Best Buy. By the way, like mm-hmm. fantastic. Yeah, job. they just they just we after the holidays, the <laughs> times go we no hours. Yeah, There's no hours. Well, welcome to. Well, it's just because there's like no one really coming in though. So it makes sense that they do it. It just sucks because if you're not full time, it's just like, well. Yeah, you can, your hours will just – like I was doing like 30 to 35 hours consistently mm-hmm. every week, which I liked because I wasn't in college. But I was going to be starting the next the next like semester. So I was like, hey, can you guys like ease it up a little bit? But then they started giving me like six hours a week. Um, which I didn't really like for obvious reasons. Yeah, no wonder. Um, my my hours are kind of intact still, but that's only because I'm a VPL role. So oh. I'm I technically you got some pull, huh? I need to be there. What's that? <laughs> you got some pull. Yeah, exactly. I have a I have a little bit of uh, swaying power, basically. Mm-hmm. But. but yeah, no. If you hey hey, real quick. Um, if you ever need to get a TV and you want to wall mount it, just get the membership. Don't even ask. Just 100%. get it. Exact I, all right, same everyone, price. I'm going to give you a quick sales pitch. I'm not even, no, even going to sales pitch it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to sales pitch it. If you're, if you're thinking about like, Oh, I, I might get like, I want to think I might want a re- remote start. I'm going to be in like a colder climate. I want to be able to start up my car from the distance. Oh, I want to replace the speakers. Like my tweeters and my front left door have gone bad. Oh, I want to get a new, like, uh, I want to get a new refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> I like how your voice pitched the second you said refrigerator. Um, uh. I, I want to get a new TV and I want to wall mount it. Anything uh. that, like, the installation itself is at least, like, a, I personally would say 150 you should consider it. Mm-hmm. $200, you're wasting your money. Yeah, but point. especially if you're doing multiple things, like if you can do multiple things within just one year of the membership, just do it. Because like one ninety nine, you'll get all the services done. Then you can just cancel it and be like, "All right, I'm set." Mm-hmm. Like for example, I had a um, customer. They were their kid was graduating, and he, he, they took him in to take a look at laptops because they wanted him to go into college with a good laptop. Okay. I told them, like I, I asked, I was like straight up, like, "Hey, how good are you with computers actually?" He was like, dude, I struggle to find the Windows key sometimes. I was like, all right, cool. Um, buy this membership, $200. Sounds like a huge price. You can come in as much as you want for thir- uh, for 30 minutes and have us teach you how to do things. Mm-hmm. If yep. you're confused on like, oh, I don't know how to use like um, – Google Docs, for example. Oh, I don't know how to like set up like the formatting. I don't know how to do presentations. I don't know how to do like cloud drives. Set up with my different accounts on all my devices. Go in. It's basically f- it's it's not basically free. It is free. Just milk them for every single dollar, every single every single. <laughs> I mean, penny. yeah, the freaking Geek Squad did it to themselves. They're like, listen unlimited help but that's a pretty tall order and you can abuse it pretty badly it's so far and the fact is like no one ever does it mm-hmm. like yeah well, people use he- it mostly for the services which is honestly a pretty nice oh yeah dude of it. i'm gonna i'm gonna go and get a radio installed i mean obviously <laughs> radio installs a hundred dollars and up is free um but mm-hmm. Look, no, at, yeah. look at Ernie giving the sales pitches and he doesn't sales. even work there anymore. I'm just staying quiet. You guys are running the show today. 
Yeah, Matt's I was gonna say Matt's just, Matt's just vibing, bro. Matt's Dude, just I'm playing vibing. Clash of Clans right now. It's great. <laughs> he was playing with his cock. Hey, COC, like yeah, I know, uh, yeah, I know, but still. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I'm thankful for the time I spent there. Um, yeah. but can't work those hours. Yeah, no, uh, staples that's fair though. Enough. Had my first, if I had my first um actual shift today. I wasn't stuck like doing training. Uh, mm-hmm. Did actual work? Yeah, no. If if uh, if I next time I see my manager, I'm just my supervisor. I'm gonna ask if I can listen to music, because if I can, that job is gonna be so much fun, dude. It's just you do a task, and you do the, the tasks as they come, and it's like I love it. it Can't works. even complain. I've never f- enjoyed a, a job more. And then once I start college, they said they're like, yeah, we'll we'll give you less hours. That's fine by us. Yeah, usually with uh, are you part time? Yes, I am part time. Yeah, that's the nice thing is if you're part time, they're usually very. Uh, no matter what job you go to, really, it's pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, God, what what am I saying? Like pretty lenient, lenient on yeah. yeah. But no, it's super nice though. I'm honestly, I'm I'm still chilling with where I'm at. Wish I got paid a little bit more. Might try to ask for Bro, a raise here soon. What, were you getting paid fifteen an hour? No, I'm a set uh, sixteen fifty. Dude what you're kidding me mm-hmm. dude you you got it on god bro you're paying so much taxes you're probably earning as much as i am now because i'm I getting 1250 at staples mm-hmm. but i'm getting consistent hours you're you're probably earning as much as i am right now mm-hmm. bro yeah, no. get um, out of that state <laughs> dude I, trust me i want to man <laughs> It's too Forget hot, it. man. It's too hot. It is, dude. It's it's warming up for summer right now, and I'm like dreading it already. I'm like, dude, the second it becomes too hot that I can't wear a jacket outside anymore is the day I just become upset. <laughs> like, just continue ang- angry, angry. It, it really is. Like it, it's it's bad. Um, I, I will say though, um, living out here, going into my second summer out here, I'm not looking forward to it because it's just. Like California is just a dry heat. It just like yeah. it like seeps away your skin, right? Mm-hmm. It just like hurts, dude. The heat out here just makes you want to sleep. <laughs> it's just humid. It's just it's like, humid. Yeah. It, it's it's like f- like down in Florida, it, it feels like you have a second set of skin, right? Because of how humid and like how much you're, water's you're in like the weird like in between thing. No, it feels it, on, honestly when it's like bad up here, it feels like you have a third set of skin. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, it just feels heavy. Like breathing it becomes a pain because we're in the mountains where I'm where I live at least. We're in the mountains, so the air is thinner and it's humid, so it takes a lot more effort. So I don't know how people are just like, oh yeah, dude, we'll just go out and run for like three hours. Cross country people, no, I that's think insane, like, dude. I can't. I, I I see them and I start I start sweating like, dude. Yeah, right. <laughs> How do you do that? It's crazy. I don't know, man. It, it's it's weird stuff, though. But yeah. How about, how about you, Cal- Matt? How are you liking the heat of California right now? I mean, granted, I don't mind. Like, mm-hmm. I prefer the cold, but I don't mind the heat. Mm. Except like when I'm uh, playing sports, like that. Nah. <laughs> nah yeah, that's nah. what it's like. It's nah. it's just bad. You feel it like like ten degrees over. Yeah. In yeah, units. <laughs> it's it's not fun. No, it's not. Oh well. But yeah, we're we're surviving. I'm just very much not looking forward to the upcoming heat. Because it's just dry and awful. You know what I am looking forward to? Looking forward to visiting you guys. Oh, yeah, dude. for sure. That's that is in what is it? I'm gonna check. That is in a month and Actually, that isn't exactly a month. I am going yeah. to be visiting. Damn, it's already that soon. Yeah, you're coming down quick. <laughs> yup, it's coming. Uh, hey, bro. You, I, like I said, if you, you're pick. Are you going to pick me up from the airport? I can't remember. Yeah, I still. Yeah. I took the day yeah. off. I right, cool. I'm, I'm. I'm taking to get food that day. We're, dude. I, I already got. I got an idea. Like, if you're free, I, I talked to James about this, and uh, I, I can't remember if he's down. But if James huh. is free that day too, I might just say, hey, let's go. Uh, Let's go to a chef supply store. I need to get some pans for my mom. Yeah, you Matt. Buy if, if, pans while down here and take it yes, back with you. Are you kidding me? How are you going to put that in luggage? 
Dude, that's why I'm flying American. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> like, like I'm gonna. I'm, the plan is I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna probably buy a suitcase while I'm out here, and I'm just gonna do the like Hispanic thing, where I'm just like I stuff it full of a bunch of useless goodies. <laughs> Lovely. Um, but yeah, no. Um, like, have you guys ever heard of Yoshinoya? Uh, nope. I feel I, like I have more than likely talked about it at least three times with you guys. <laughs> okay, but it's explain. So, um, the kind of the, a bit of a history. It is a Japanese national uh, chain. It is extremely okay. popular. So, if you happen to have any Japanese viewers who also speak English, they will recognize it. Um, Yoshinoya is really not. They're not famous. Famous in Japan, but if you live in like Tokyo or Shibuya, they're extremely popular. Because okay. that's kind of where the main basis is. I can't remember if they're 24 hours out there, um, but yeah. So they decided, like, hey, you know, let's let's capitalize on the American market. And opened up, like, I forget how many, I think, like, 10 locations, 10 or 15 locations in just Southern California. They haven't left Southern Wait, California. Wait, what's it, hold on, say, what's it called one more time? It's, like, Yoshi from Mario. Uh, okay. uh Yoshi, fuck, uh, Yoshi Noya. So Yoshi and then No Ya. Okay. Yeah, Yoshi Noya. Please okay, do not go there without me. I love this place. If oh, we, I, if, I've never, I've never seen it before. It looks good though. No, you know the best part is they have a location in Lake Forest, like like fifteen minutes away. Yeah, I don't know how I missed this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we should totally do that then when you come. No, down. I, it's it's one of my favorite places. Um, yeah, we'll do, we'll do it it's, then. There's Look, probably they, can't have anything there. Yeah, true. <laughs> you can't have anything there? <laughs> Stuff like ramen. <laughs> Ma- Matt, uh... I'm gluten-free. What? Gluten-free, yeah. Oh, oh are you, you're allergic, aren't you? Nope. No? Oh. Intolerance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay. Um, no, because there's Lucas, a Lucas, guy... you want to tell that story? <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe another time maybe another time yeah we're getting a little bit low on time aren't we but um no no i i confuse you um lucas knows donovan from marching band uh oh, god i haven't talked to him in a while but yeah yeah no he, it's been a minute he i kid you not he looks like the coolest substitute english teacher if you look at his instagram really yeah he looks like a really cool english uh substitute english teacher although it's been like a year since i've seen him but yeah, no, Donovan, Yush, oh um, he, he's, I think he's allergic or intolerant. I think he said it like runs straight through him. Weird. Okay. But, um, yeah, no, I, that is such pain, Matt. And I am so sorry because all my favorite foods have so much gluten in them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, I'm, it's, it's I'm used to it at this point. Cause hey, I, hey, hey, hold up. Can I'm, you eat sushi, bro? Can you eat sushi? No, no. Why not? I mean, oh, raw, raw, raw fish, but I can't. Yeah, have, okay, like, so raw... he can have sashimi. So yeah, yeah you'll okay. be fine. <laughs> you'll right. suffer, but you'll be fine. We'll, we'll take Matt out to sushi sometime yeah, instead no, of um... instead of ramen and make him suffer. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, they make gluten free uh, ramen, don't they? That's a thing. maybe somewhere, they but I'm not not so, that, that I've seen around here. That sounds like a here. California thing, man. Come on, they they throw in kale in there. <laughs> they throw kale in there. Maybe like some. That's dirty, what I'm like, saying, man. It's got to be around here somewhere. LA but... Canal water, like yeah, that's that's a classic <laughs> LA. Mm, food. Yes, cl- a classic LA Canal water. That's my favorite ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just thinking of that. That's that's the one thing I'm not looking forward to. I remember like when I when I landed at LAX last year, I saw I saw the smog. And oh, it's yeah. the first time I've actually ever noticed it. Uh-huh. I would bet. Because, uh, dude, you don't you don't see it, man, until like you're actually coming in. You look over in the direction of like Orange or Pasadena, and it's just it's bad, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's pretty messy down here. But hey, you know it's a uh, land land of the dreams. <laughs> Land of dreams and making no money because taxes. <laughs> oh my god! Spend half your paycheck. Before well, actually, you it's not. Me. It's not even that. It's like housing too, dude. I mean, I'm I'm very lucky to be at home for a little bit yeah. longer, but not for much longer. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna be. Hey, uh, I'm gonna be in that. Dirt cheap out here, man. Soon. Just saying. And there's plenty I mean, of Best Buy's hey, transit. My to. my ultimate goal, if I can do it, is to go somewhere up north. Actually, i.e., Washington, probably. 
Oh, it um, stay on the West Coast, but yeah. West Coast is uh, is weak coast. East Coast is beast coast. <laughs> bro, you've like, been there for like how long now? And you're already a year like and a half. Yeah, like a year and a half, and you're like, damn, I hate where I grew up, man. I've been this this place is banging. The the only thing I miss is it's it's basically Yoshinoya. Like I just miss the variety of food. Yeah, th- that is one thing I can definitely say. That's like really really nice down here because just you you'll never run out of places to eat yeah like you'll never find somewhere where you haven't eaten like i can guarantee you for like three months you can eat at a new like style of food Mm -hmm. every single day oh probably it's gonna hurt but you can do it my wallet already hurts (laughs) dude honestly i'm looking at this trip like should i (laughs) she is gonna hurt (laughs) But Yoshinoya, oh my god, I'm I'm looking forward to visiting. What's it called? Um, Apoy Loco again. It is. Oh, is it not? Is it not over where you are? No, it's it's a SoCal location. It's a oh, SoCal I didn't chain. know that. Yeah, um, love that chain. Uh, horrible work environment. God yeah, off. Um, my my cousin actually, I don't know if I ever told you guys this. So my cousin, he's one of the reasons that I got hired at the Apoy Loco I used to work at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. By the way, for people who don't know, El Pollo Loco is a local, like, is a Southern California local, um, like Mexican fast food place where mm-hmm. their whole gimmick is that they only sell chicken, yeah. and occasionally they'll sell chicken with some avocados on the side, but mainly chicken. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. Delicious place if you like chicken. If you don't like chicken, you're kind of screwed. And it's it's how many um, times can, I mean, you can, can you say chicken in one sentence? It's, <laughs> how many times I'm going to say chicken put this in, in one in Huge quotes too. It's fairly healthy, quote unquote, no, it's, compared to on. most other fast food. So so actually, having like seen, um, like been to like the t- type of parties where that type of food is cooked, and mm-hmm. working at that restaurant, it's you just have to like be the, It's um, almost identical. Like mm-hmm. it's it's save for like one or two things. Like obviously they're gonna they're doing it on like a larger scale, but if you did it like one or two chickens, all of the coworkers, all, all the people are just like hanging out and they're just cooking food uh, with each other. That is basically just a Latino party missing the music. That is what I mean, just, play, just play music in the kitchen and you're good to Actually, go. Actually, um, after we close the dine in like the the like area where you could sit down, um. Uh-huh. My location, we would just turn off the music and we had this stereo that one of oh my, God, my cousin, nice. my cousin, he would connect his phone to it and play like the most like Latino, like L.A. music you could listen to. Like exactly what you'd hear coming on, uh, on coming on. That's awesome. Um, but he. You, you have no idea how much music I play when it's quiet at work because I have control over all the demo units now oh my god <laughs> that makes me jealous but um yeah my cousin he he worked there he was a boyero so basically when you walk in the main gimmick is that you can see like behind the like not the salsa bar some locations have the salsa bar to the side but one of the main gimmicks is that you can see the guy actually cooking the chicken in front of you it's kind of like um it's like the it's like a like you ever been to like a japanese like steakhouse style thing yep yeah, where they cook in front of you. That's yep. kind of like what they're going for. Except it's um, chicken. Yeah, except it's chicken. <laughs> um, a concept. <laughs> but he, um, that job, it's your you like the steaks that they have. They're like tongs. Well, not tongs. They're more like forks, like two mm-hmm. two prongs for two pronged forks that are like th- a yard long, and. It, he would have like three, four chickens on each each fork. He would be like dual wielding him. <laughs> um, it was cool to see, but it, it was hell on his wrists. Um, oh, I, I so can imagine. Yeah. He developed tendonitis. He, mm. he and he goes to the doctor and he's like, "Yeah, you have tendonitis. You cannot be working." And so he goes and says, "Hey, you know, I can't be working as a pollero. Um, I need the hours still. Can I like work the line?" So he he would just be making like the burritos and such. Someone else would just take over is um like prepping the chicken essentially and they straight up told him no and he also took on more hours because the other guy co- uh quit so he was working overtime working a job that worked mainly his wrists 
with um on a with tendonitis. Jesus. And it ended up I think he ended up having to have surgery. I can't remember. He should have um, like I, I hope he like sued or something. Oh yeah, so that's what I'm getting to. So he actually oh did God. sue and he won. Like Good. by yeah, a landslide. So by a landslide. I I can't remember how much he earned um from it but he actually earned enough so that he could buy a really good house out here out Damn, in west dude. virginia um that, and he's actually thinking nice. about doing it right now so yeah I mean, yeah good on him you should so fantastic place fantastic food just do not work there <laughs> which is a hey, listen, it's, 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 it's it is good food i will back that up oh my god the avocado salsa and the what what was it what was it the it's avocado salsa and the cilantro dressing. God bless them. Oh, I my gotta go God. back. Now you're making me hungry. Stop it. Oh, I'm really good at doing that. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're probably making everyone listening hungry as well. At yes, least I hope dude. Because so, if you've never my had own it, podcast, and you just talking about foods it, I've had, you, dude. Dude, if you've ever had, if you ever have a chance to come down to SoCal, my God, there's so many good food places you can get down here. Just, oh, like. In, I mean, because you got like spectrum. in and out down here too. So oh, dude, dude, no, 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 shut up, Californian. In and out is not good. <laughs> okay, but I'm just saying it's one of the things that you can only find down here. I'm gonna say it. What a burger's better. I'm I'm a backup to people from Texas. I've I've I went there on a trip, mm. um, to go rescue Doggo, and nice. we stopped by a water burger. And dude. Ooh, I've, heard it's, I've heard it's good. Yeah, I got it. It's better than than In and Out, in my opinion. However, if you're on a what's it called, if you're on the East Coast, um, first off, Beast Coast, let's go. Um, but <laughs> in Virginia, Maryland, and DC, also I saw that Matt. <laughs> um, in 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 that little like tr- like tri-state area, I guess you can say. Um, <gasps> No, a hundred. Yeah, the and firm tri-state area. No, but um, right in that like area, there's a chain of you know how like Yoshinoya, it's a Japanese chain that mm-hmm. found itself in SoCal. So Nando's Peri Peri, you might have heard like British YouTubers talk about Nando's. Nando's. Yeah. yeah. So Nando's is actually in the states. Um, is it really? There, what? Yeah, there is there is like five or seven five or six locations that are all around the DC metropolitan metropolitan. Oh, area. DC. Oh, dang it. Yes. Oh, you got yeah. to DC. Yeah. You have to be on the East coast to get it. While I was visiting Adam last October, which I'm probably going to do again. I'm going to talk to him about like visiting him again. Um, but while I was visiting him, we went and got Nando's and mm-hmm. 100%. I agree with British people. It, it, it's worth it is. It is super worth. Okay, use- I I had Nando's in uh, the UK actually. Really, it's it so, was good. so good, so good, so good. And the best part is, I didn't even order like the classic meal. I just ordered what looked like it would like a knockoff Hispanic meal. <laughs> I on God, Bruh. I got I got the coleslaw with the 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 peri peri rice with the nice. spiciest chicken that they had, like le- leg thigh breast and a wing. Like the full works essentially, dude. It's so good. I'm it's, so glad. I'm so glad I went on that trip. Yeah, if you if you happen when to did find you, yourself, when did you go on that? That was my junior year of high school for a soccer trip. Okay. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. But yeah, no, if you find yourself like in, I think they might have locations in New York. I can't remember. They might. Mm. But if you find yourself near DC for any god awful reason because politicians just make it smell <laughs> i'm kidding um but it is it is one of those places where you should definitely try it out if you can't actually go to the uk and try it out there fair enough even then i would recommend going to the uk yeah no like go to the well, uk yeah, they, they have I mean, like just yeah just things? just casually go to the uk it's that easy <laughs> if only if only dude i wish it was that easy oh man uh all right oh but they have themselves. <laughs> Sorry, what's up? What, no, what are you saying? No, it's it, there's there's like other like peri peri style, but peri peri is like uh, that, it's, that that's like that is the, an African that's it's like an African one. word. It's it's cool because like Nando, sorry, um, I'll, I'll let you like do the outro, but Nan- no, no, Nando's is a African, African. I was gonna say something else, but I want to hear uh, more about Nando's. <laughs> oh, dude, what is it? All it's you need to do is something. Do is go. 
I think it's a African Portuguese, not Portuguese. Is it Portuguese? It's it's something in like not Brazil. I have no idea. It's one of the, it's like a, it's a Latin country. In Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. 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 <laughs> Brazil. But yeah. I definitely recommend it. It says Southern African on their website. I don't know. But they also use they like one of their selling points is that they use, um, like s- not sa- sauces, but like they use ingredients from I think South. Oh no, I misread it. It is South Africa, so it is just okay. African in- ingredients. That's me being a stupid uh, colonist American. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, we got we got variety at least. Yeah, you're gonna say Lucas. I apologize. Oh, no, I totally forgot what I was going to say now. I was going to mention something about another restaurant, and I totally forgot what it was now. Fine. I, I, guess, I, we, I guess we've <laughs> talked everyone's ear off about food and movies for now. Huh? Actually, though, you you legit just ran at, like, you did a in-depth movie analysis of yeah, the right. first this, three. This is just Ernie's then you, movie critique, the episode. Then you uh, just we, essentially we ran, gave... We ran, like, a five to ten minute ad for Best Buy in the middle yeah, of Yeah, you, you ran an ad for Best Buy and Staples, then now we were just talking about food in different parts of the we world. Love. Here. and the u.s good day yes. we love that it is very productive <laughs> all right well at, at the end of the day ernie thank you for coming yeah. on and giving us your your movie rant and uh food giving rant. Us food and food <laughs> rant yes both do, watch good a, do watch a video once we're done here by the way it is I, I will i will i will delicious good stuff <laughs> oh man you're gonna make me go watch old movies again <laughs> all right but regardless for those of you who uh made it to the end of the video here thank you for listening as always um as always if you are listening on youtube we're also on spotify and vice versa ernie once again thank you for coming on and yeah. uh i think that is everything for today so thank you guys for listening and uh as always bye-bye see you later see you